this is the NBA Finals, and you need to call it differently. I, I, that's the way I always feel. You know how the NFL is the king of doesn't matter what game it is, doesn't matter what time it is, doesn't matter at all. We're calling the foul. We're throwing the flag. I mean, that's what Pereira said all the time. But you see the referees eat their whistle in the last couple minutes of an of, a, of an NFL game. Yeah. Although, you know, Bengals fans will be like, wait a minute, did you not see the end of the Super Bowl this year when we got called for holding? And it was a completely reversal of the way the game was called. Right. Of that entire game. Of course, the uh, Rams fans would be, well, did you see Jalen Ramsey have his head nearly turned around like it was the exorcist um, in the beginning of the second half and that wasn't called? I, I, I just needed to push back on him. Certainly just for you, Chris, you know, and you Celt- the Celtics fans were like, I, I, you know, if you keep on letting somebody do what they want, and it is right. normally any time of any the type year of a technical foul, and somebody's already gotten the T, that doesn't mean that they have to do something completely egregious in order to get that second technical. Yeah. I guess if he had laid his, instead of laying his feet on him, if he had kicked him in the nether region, that would have been it. Yeah. Because that's what's happened before to him in an NBA Finals. Then what is trying to pull his pants down? Like, what are we doing? Uh, are we at summer camp? Well, I think you can chalk it up to him trying to pull himself up more than him trying on, to pull Don't make excuses pants. for this guy. Oh, I'm like, not making excuses, but I'm just saying, why would he try to pull his pants down? I don't believe Because that's what he does. He's a petulant child on the basketball court, and the refs let him get away with it. Like, who cares if he's well, already had a Well, they did tee him up beforehand. They it's did. the sum. Well, he's screaming at Grant Williams. Like, it's the sum of the parts here. It's the sum of all the actions. So if four or five things happen throughout the course of the game, yes, you should be ejected. I don't care if the one that tipped the scale was, wasn't as bad as one, two, three, or four. Like, at what point is enough of is I enough? guess the second say, technical in an NBA yes. Finals game needs to have a different standard than the first. And that's something that I'm sure the NBA would deny is but, actually a I understand. A, a, but the first, the first is always like, hey, here's your warning shot, okay? Don't do it again. But he doesn't care. Draymond Green has shown throughout his entire career those things don't matter. He cost his team a world championship because he couldn't help himself. And he has since corrected that, I think. He's a, he's a, he's a lot more... I think wise about his shenanigans well, he's, well, he's these days a, than he was as he's a, not as good a, a as younger a, of a player. player anymore. So he has to resort to this type of stuff. I don't know about that assessment. Well, I mean, it's kind of obvious. No one is as good at thirty three as they are at twenty three. Like so, yeah. So he has to resort to intimidation, getting his the fans and his teammates jacked up by doing this type of behavior that in any other game gets you booted. He might physically be different, but he's a much better player in terms of his mental acuity and how that's he... It. That's all he has left. Well, I mean, that's a that's a great way to keep yourself on the path to the Hall of Fame. Yeah, that's true. And They're I think he's more... Well, now, I think he's more well aware of his, of, his, of his arms and his legs and what he's doing with them. Look, I'm more, the, the call that I'm more pissed about is Jalen Brown's second foul... Went on every single replay. Yeah, no, we we he thought he doesn't they, touch him. If it, it, it and 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 again, that's if I'm gonna uh, this kind of plays in and to what a, we're talking that's a about. Three point play, and it gets Jalen Brown foul. out of the game right. after he had scored nine in a row. And so, in the same way that we're saying officials should just call it as they see it and remove the stakes from the process. In other words, the exact opposite of what Stephen A. Smith just said, right. as he respectfully disagreed with me. Yeah. Um, that I think coaches should challenge calls, use their challenge in the first quarter if it's something that is just as important as it is in the fourth. You know how sometimes a baseball manager will bring in a, a reliever in the fifth or sixth inning of a playoff game because this is the moment to right. douse the flames mm-hmm. because you never know the seventh, eighth, and ninth innings, of course, could be uh, have the same level of importance, if not more important, because it's later in the game and you're that much closer to winning. I'm always in the mindset in a playoff game, bring the guy in now because you could put the fire out now and have no fires the rest of the game. That's your fire. You don't just let it you know, involve the house more. 
because you know what? Later on, we're going to have more of a brigade. We'll need the brigade later on. Mm-hmm. I, I I thought you know, Ima Udoka should have used his challenge on that in the first quarter. When your your star player's got a second foul to be picked up, and he's hot, and he's hot, yeah. And the f- replay showed he didn't come any contact, any contact, zero. You use the challenge there. He's got one foul and off you go and it's not a, a big play. I mean, the first quarter was the Celtics quarter to maybe kind of win it. And then as it as you as you saw, there was no third or fourth quarter need for that challenge. Nope. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.